Xbox Unsnap. Xbox Unsnap. Seven Sons Costa Market. Go in and check out the bazaar. Press LV and T pad up together to find Seven Sons on your map. box. <laughs> you get hit. I stay it. <laughs> yourself more than capable, so I'd like to ask you to look into it for a moment. I'm told they gave charge of something, so let you into the vault. Hello there. Are you interested in a bat?
Hi, welcome to the stream. Um, playing through some new characters, getting them to level 11. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the uh, chat box. I'll get to you as soon as possible. If you want to check out some other YouTube video, I have some videos on YouTube, alternative healthcare, and we're all separate words. If you want to hit me up on Dr. Joe, um, Dr. Joe Scott on Xbox Live. Thanks for watching. Xbox Snap Twitch. How's it going, Loner? Loner Gamer said, LOL, that's Xbox Snap Twitch command. Right, it's so I can see people talking on my screen instead of uh, having to pull up the, uh, like pull it up on my computer or something. Just have it so I can see the chat box right there on my screen. I'm not too worried about seeing the screen. So. My 27th character. I'm just uh, leveling up some new character. Uh, Loner Gamer said, "Doing all right. Just checking to see what I'm checking to see what you're doing." Um, so I'm just leveling up some new characters right now. Um, you can hold a maximum of 50 characters, and I have uh, I think I have 26 or 27. 27. Um, no, there's not. There's only seven classes in the game, but there are uh, six different types. Of characters that you can make per character. So, um, actually, like 42 different combinations you could have, um, just depending on. There's two separate paragons, and there's three separate um, trees for each paragon. Character times seven, 42. Um, but I'm doing it for a different reason. I'm going to show everybody once I get to my 50s. I don't really want to give away the secret of what I'm doing yet, so. Um, yeah. Right now, I'm actually making my guardian fighters. I've already gone through all my clerics. I'll go show you. Okay, so my main characters. Okay, so this is my main main guy, my level 60 cleric. Um, here's my level 60 trickster rogue and my level 60 guardian fighter. Um, 36 control wizard, 35 scourge, warlock, 34 hunter, ranger, 36 great weapon fighter. So these are my main guys. I made one of every single type. Um, these are my main guys. And then I started making just all characters. Um, so I started with clerics. And I made a cleric from every race just so I could try them out and then give people advice on what I thought, you know, the best cleric would be, even though I thought I picked the best cleric. So after that, I started with my Trickster Rogue class. I went through, again, all the Trickster Rogues. And there's my first Dragonborn character, actually. Um, Dragonborn's great. I love it um, so far. Uh, here's my 
second Dragonborn, and I, this is where I started my Guardian Fighter. So this is my third Guardian Fighter. Well, my fourth if you count my main one. Yeah, I'm going to try out different character builds, um, try different things. My character builds on my YouTube account are actually the ones that are getting my biggest hits. Um, my Trickster Rogue, I think, is closing in on about 500 views uh, since I made it uh, less than a month ago. So, oh, not so much committed. Um, after I get to my 51, I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I'm doing. But um kind of sucks because I didn't look at these packs either. Um, I need to get where they at. this hunter ranger booster pack and the heirloom pack. So um, these are going to give me uh, another uh, greater bag of holding, which is going to be great. That's what it's going to give all that stuff. Then the heirloom pack is also something that looks really sweet. You get uh, new, new um, blue items from 5 to 50. So um, each character will also gain a mercenary companion. Uh, this pack contains a character slot, a retraining token, and a greater bag of holding. So this is an account-wide unlock um, that can be reclaimed from every single character. So that's going to cost me 2,000 zen. This one's going to cost me uh, 3,500. So I still need to get... 5,500 more Zen. Um, right now I'm sitting at 1,500. So I'm closing in on being able to get the heirloom pack. I think that'd be probably uh, uh, pretty smart for me to get considering I'm, I'm leveling up characters like this. But um, I would like to get the other one too. Um, Dragonborn pack, as you can see, before I even get another bag, I have this massive other bag, which is great. I also get um, this right here. Artifact, which, as you can see, my gear score is at 724. If I unequip this, it goes down to 75. So this is the massive increase that you get from the Dragonborn. Um, this is the ring that you get that levels up with you as you go. So um, it's pretty sweet. <clears throat> so, so um, Loner said, so committed to this game, and he said, so much Zen, but not enough yoga. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't necessarily have to do yoga to have Zen. <laughs> a room tunnel. Yeah, I've already actually made uh, two characters today. Um, I got a little break this morning. My my son went over to my uh, father-in-law's house and he hung out there this morning. So I, I got to go run some errands and do some stuff. And then I came back and made a couple characters. So I'm, I'm hoping I can make two more today. Um, once I get to 50, it's going to be great because then I'll just never ever have to worry about making new characters again. Um, unless I wanted to lead them to start a new one. So, Guardian Fighter is probably one of my least favorite to do because he's just kind of weak. Um, especially after going from a Trickster Rogue where I can pretty much run through this super fast. They're fast characters. They're, they're, you know, they have their um, ability to dodge. Um, and the Guardian Fighter doesn't. He just holds a shield up like this. So you can't roll to kind of go any faster. Um, he, he does have an AOE basic attack, but it's still not like the Trickster Rogue. Like with the Trickster Rogue, with the with the Dragonborn artifact and everything, I pretty much one hit everything, uh, maybe two hits. So it's just like bam, bam, done. And then I can just move on to the next one. All right. Um, also have the the throwing throwing skill that I have for my left trigger, so I can just kick him down from here like this instead of having to you know swing like this. Um, Definitely taking a little bit longer to get to the Guardian Fighters, but after that, I'm going to work on my, um, can't remember what's next. Um, I'm kind of doing it in the order that I made them. Um, I first did Clerics, then Tracer Road, then Guardian Fighter. I think I did Scourge Warlock next. I think Control Wizard. So, or maybe, well, I did Control Wizard and then Scourge Warlock. So, my next ones after I do my Guardian Fighters are going to be my, my Control Wizards, which are pretty sweet to level up. Um, I'm really excited to actually play one of those because when I first played them, um, they were kind of weak. They were really squishy, and uh, they did some decent damage, but it was kind of hard to level them up. 
But uh, with this new Dragonborn pack, yeah, I forgot to get my. Um, with the new Dragonborn pack, you know, as I, as I just showed you, it puts your gear score up like a massive amount. So um, it's gonna be it's it's gonna be fun to see if it uh, increases it quite a bit. So now we got my Black Panther out. Alright, Peter, we'll get an Xbox One loaner, and then we can stream together. And then we'll stream with my wife, too, when we get the other Xbox. Blow up Twitch, all three of us. Listen to what the Dragonborn artifact does. As you can see, it does quite a bit of damage, and then it burns over time, too. So that's pretty sweet. Um, really useful. Really useful. Uh, it takes three minutes to charge, just like all the other ones. So, um, if, um, If you miss, though, it actually it does a cooldown to where it, it doesn't take the entire three minutes if you miss. So if you hit nobody, you get it back. <laughs> Loader Gamer said, I'm still waiting for you to send me my Xbox One homies. <laughs> um... I don't know about that, loner. Maybe if my uh, YouTube channel blows up and I start making enough money to get another one, then, then yeah. But that's going to be quite a while considering I just started my YouTube um, a 6th. So I've had a YouTube account for a while, but um, the only reason I used it before was actually for school. When I was doing uh, my schooling through Liberty University online, and uh, this has like a couple Spanish things on there actually, Spanish class, um, and uh, for my speech class. But um, I just started other videos like all this stuff. I started on May six. It's actually growing pretty pretty nicely. Um, it, it, it's it's kind of discouraging when I see other people with videos like mine, but they have like more views than my entire account does. But then I just have to remind myself that, you know, I just started less than a month ago. <clears throat> so I still need to get my game, my name out there and um, get people watching me, uh, you know. So uh, hopefully it'll grow. Right now I've gotten um, over 2,000 views since May 6th. So it's been less than a month and I've already, I'm already over 2,000 um, for my videos. I, I have about 100 videos on there now. So I need to get a... Um, Nice video editor. Um, I think I might be getting one of those since I can start, you know, kind of like almost making like PowerPoint videos. I like I like to watch people's videos who are good looking, you know. So I figure maybe I I, I should do the same thing. But um, my theory was to just pretty much get my name out there, make it like make a ton of videos, see what hits, what what doesn't, and see kind of what um, would be in my best interest to make as far as videos before I before I went out and spent some money and got a video editing program. That's why I've been just kind of throwing videos out there, uh, making a ton of videos. So, yeah, once my um, YouTube channel gets better, so. Going to Black Lake District. That's going to be trouble. Black Lake District is a mess. Not a I'm trying to do. <laughs> the National Rebels are openly defying Lord Nebermoose's rule and are attacking anyone who won't swear loyalty to their leader, Kalgor. Meet with Private Pothodon Falwin. If Godwin is still in Black Lake, Pretty much what I do with all my characters is um, all these alt characters, I just get them to level 11. Um, you have to go through Black Lake right now. You come back. Um, after you do all that, you go and do uh, Nest Egg, which is in town, and then you go to the next spot. Oh, I timed out. Um, you go to the next map, two quests there, and then you're done. Uh, welcome to the stream. If you have any questions, leave it in the chat box below. Right now, I'm just uh, playing through making some new characters. Um, my 27th out of 50 characters. 
If you have any questions, comments, just leave them there. If you want to check out some of my YouTube videos, I have some character builds. I have other games on there. It's an alternative health gamer, all separate words. If you want to hit me up on Xbox Live, maybe play some games or something, hit me up at Dr. Joe Scott, all one word. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. Yeah, so I just get all my characters to level 11. That's that's what I'm trying to do right now. I actually skipped the skirmish. Um, there's another skip. There's another close right there to do a skirmish. Um, I don't think it's enough experience, and it takes too much time for me to do. Um, I've kind of just found the fastest way to get my guys to level 11. Oh, um, this is the way that I found to do it. That way, so let's go this way. So it is important to kill a couple of extra guys, um, to what I've seen. You need a little bit of extra experience um, to get to level 11. Um, if you're just going to do the, the, the quest that I'm going to show you. So I'll make sure to actually look out for a couple guys. I'm not quite sure. I should probably get an exact count about how many. Well, I guess if it was exact, it wouldn't be about how many, but uh, about how many it is. <laughs> yeah, my um, companion's name is um, uh, Loner Gamer said your uh, mongrel's name is YouTube. <laughs> uh, yes, it is YouTube. Uh, my character's name is Alternative Health, and um, it... it it won't fit gamer in there, so I put um, G M E because my last guy was G A M. So uh, this is another way that I, I'm trying to get my name out there on YouTube, um, let people know that you know I am here. Um, maybe you know get someone's interest. You know I, I put this message out every now and then, and let people know. Uh, I figure you know it's, as long as I get the advertisement out there somehow, people will go check it out. So. I'm not really worried about character names. Um, I named my first, oh, I don't know, uh, 20 characters, and then it starts getting kind of hard to name characters, so I just started putting random stuff. Um, started doing, like, initials of me and my family members. I mean, just to, like, try to fill it in, you know what I mean? Because I mean, there's, just, there's just so many, and I, I, I still have so many left to do, so... Now I'm going to go back. I guess I have to scout these places, too. This is a different quest I have. I guess it's just for a certain... Um, you get certain quests for different types of characters. Um, right now I'm playing on a... Uh, let's see what I'm on. On a halfling. So this must be a quest just for the halfling. Because I've been doing the uh, Guardian Fighters. I haven't got this one yet. So I think it's just for the halfling. Um, the different types of characters get you different quests. Last one's down here. And just remember to take out a couple guys. You know, like, don't go out of your way just to go farm. Like, don't run across the map to go get three sets of guys, you know, a set of three guys or anything. But definitely, uh, if, you, if you see some guys on the way to your place, just make sure to kill them because um, I've actually done it before. Like, my, uh, last, my last character that I made, I actually tried to just run through and see if I could do it, and I ended up being about... Oh, I don't even know, um, 170 away from leveling. So it's kind of irritating when you, you don't want to go do a whole new quest. Um, message. I just wanted to go play a uh, game. With That's going to be the next quest right there. You're going to go get some samples. So are you going to get Elder Scrolls online? Uh, yeah. How many people have asked me that? <laughs> not sure. Probably not. <laughs> the 
only reason I want to get Elder Scrolls is so that people will watch it. That's that's pretty much the only reason. I mean, it seems pretty cool, but then it's, it's just another game that I'm gonna have to you know start getting into and then and then and then stop playing. You know, just like I did with this one. Um, I enjoy getting strong, but I mean, I, I, um, after I after I make a few characters on here, uh, this will be a pretty self sufficient um, account. So. Oh, we're going to be going now to the Black Sewers. Again, there's a skirmish. If you want to go here, you can get this skirmish quest. Nah, it's not really worth it to me. <clears throat> I'm not going to worry about it. It doesn't really give you too much, so. But he asked me if I'm on Neverwinter right now. I think we'll go Gaga Goo. Uh, Loner Gamer said, I think we'll go Gaga Google. Gaga Goo Goo drools over Elder Scrolls Online. Um, that's that's a good possibility, Loner. Uh, but also, um, I'm going to be having a other son here uh, next month. So, uh, I'm not going to have as much time to play. And uh, I don't know if I really want to buy a new game. I want to do. <laughs> And um, I'm also getting that other Xbox, you know, so that my wife can play. And if I if I got if I did that, then I'd have to get that game too, so we could play together. And I don't, you know, I don't want to buy two separate. Games. I'm never with this free to for us to play. A loaner gamer said, "Don't deny yourself, Mr. Alternative. Get that game. <laughs> get that game." Oh, uh, I I I really probably won't. I mean, I'll probably just keep on playing this. Um, I'm actually having a lot of fun with Dragon Age again. Um, there's a lot of people interaction there. Uh, I, I I actually enjoyed that. Uh, Maybe even a little more than Neverwinter now, just because um, of the the people who are playing on there again. Um, I made some new friends, talked to people on there. I've actually been getting quite a few hits on the Twitch account. Um, but I don't really get hits on my YouTube account, and that's where I actually need them. I don't really need them on my Twitch. I guess I could say it, you know, I could, it could be useful on my Twitch. Because uh, if I get my name on Twitch, maybe people could... I mean, I need it on my YouTube and not so much on my I'm going to take this. Uh, welcome to the stream. If you have any questions or comments, just leave it in the box below. Right now, I'm playing through on a Guardian Fighter. I just started him just a little while ago. I'm going to be getting him to 11, and I'm going to be starting a new character. Uh, right now, we're in the uh, we're going to be we're going to be going into the sewers. So, um, just hit level seven, Blacklick sewers. Loner Gamer said you need to work on your Twitch profile, bro. It's empty. Yeah, Loner, I was thinking that same thing too. Um, I'm gonna be taking a picture for my YouTube account. I'll probably be sticking it up on my um, <clears throat> on my Twitch account. I I haven't really looked into it too much, you know. Um, I need to just take some extra time and 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 sit down and maybe not not Twitch and uh, do all that stuff. So, um, and just like go go make my accounts better, go make my stuff look better, because um, I think that'll help bring in some more viewers. So. Um, Loader Gamer said, get on your laptop next time you have some time and place all your info there, like YouTube, Twitter, etc. Um, I do have that in my heading, uh, Loader Gamer. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I need to just go through and make it look a little better, so. Oh. Long sword that can help. Gamer said, oh yeah, I see it now. The problem with that is when people actually watch the stream, the heading is hidden, and they look under the video where the profile up will be placed. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely go fix that after um, tonight sometime. 
I think we're going to be going over to uh, my brother and sister-in-law's house tonight. So uh, maybe I'll fix it over there. Uh, get my uh, nephew's opinions on it too. So info though, I'll, I'll uh, definitely go check it out. Welcome to the stream. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the uh, chat box. I'll get to you as soon as possible. Right now I'm running on my Guardian Fighter. Um, he's equipped with a Dragonborn set, Artifact, and Ring. So he's uh, hitting a little bit extra hard. It's pretty nice. Um, if you want to check out my YouTube videos, I have a YouTube account. It's Alternative Health Gamer. Um, just like my Twitch account, it's all separate words. If you want to hit me up on Xbox One, my name is Dr. Joe Scott, all one word. Um, I'll happily help you uh, play the game or play some other game if I have it. So just let me know. I uh, hope you enjoy watching. Thanks for watching. That's the Dragonborn artifact right there. I'm gonna burn him over time, so. This is a chest that's under here. Um, you can get from him that switch. Um, Loner Gamer said, so this game doesn't require Xbox Live Gold membership. I'm not quite sure about that, um, Loner Gamer. It is a free-to-play game. Um, I'm not sure if you have to have Xbox Live Gold or not. Um, you can always... I don't know. Um, I can always ask somebody... Everybody I know has Xbox Live, though. Uh, someone's in my party with me. That's kind of weird. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm not quite sure if, if it does require it or not. Um, it might not require it, but um, the cool thing with the Xbox One is you can actually kind of share memberships. So um, let's say like when I get the other Xbox, um, I have the membership, my wife doesn't, but if I load my guy onto her console, um, then we can share games and we can share Xbox Live memberships. So um, It's kind of cool they did that with, you know, as far as like you can play with like your family and everything. So that's it's a really cool new feature with the Xbox One. Or <laughs> everybody had to have their own for everything. Uh, really irritating. Hundred five. Okay, I'll remember seven hundred five before I get to Zoe. I'll see exactly where I get to when I do all this stuff, and then I'll, I'll see if uh, the number I can remember seven hundred five on. So um, I'll see if, if I'm on track to be at the right spot for hitting a level uh, 11 by the second. Okay, 700. 700 works. 700.
amulet go? Crap. I'm going to fight the bosses after this. We're going to be going to do cornering cars off. And after that, we're going to go to town nest egg and then the last couple missions. your first pack that's gonna give you your extra backpack space um, right here it's only gonna be 18 slots but it's still better than nothing you get a second one later in the game too there actually used to be a glitch in this place where if you had a pet like I do. Um, I don't know if they just didn't have it registered, but um, the, the last two guys in there would actually run and meet you like halfway. So you couldn't actually get that last uh, animation of uh, Karzov leaving. So you would have to, to go back outside all the way from the last, the second to last place, go all the way back outside and start over again. I found that out once when I actually did that twice and I was like, what the heck's going on? Ended up having to take my pet off um, because my pet would run too. Oh, I figured it was him that was making uh, glitching out the game, but they've fixed it since uh, <clears throat> a couple weeks now, I guess. Now we're just going to be lighting these boxes on fire. You need to get five of them. Um, obviously, there's somebody else around here doing them too because there wasn't guys to fire right there, and those are already on fire. There's going to be one uh, spot in here that I'm going to show you that you can, um, <clears throat> I guess, essentially farm if you really wanted to. I wouldn't use this character. This isn't the fastest one. Um, but I, I have farmed this before. You can actually get some good stuff out of it. It might take a little while. Sometimes you get lucky on your first try. <clears throat> um, I, I thought you had to have a Dungeoneering kit to do it at first, but I actually found a way that you can just get up there without having to do it. So um, you just come in here. You gotta kill like six or seven guys right here. We'll see. Man, I, I guess, yeah, you, you have to kill these guys because otherwise you couldn't open it. What you're gonna do. real quick oh um there's a thievery kit right there Come up here 
There's a dungeoneering kit right here. So you can either use your dungeoneering skill to do it, like to interact it, but uh, and that gives you a beam. Or if you don't have a guardian fighter, you just hop up on this like this. Okay, and then you jump, land. You got you have to get kind of used to it. You can open the sack up, take it, <clears throat> come back out. Uh, sometimes you get some peridot and uh, you can get some white pearls, stuff like that. Um, you can actually get some good stuff from it. So you go back out. Unfinished map, yes, you want to go back out. They're just letting you know, you know, it's not finished yet. So um, you can only do this right at the beginning. Uh, once you get past this uh, quest, you can't go back in here. So it, you, you, you'd you have to do it at this level. Um, you have a uh, guardian fighter though, like I do. You don't. Need, you can just do that beam, so you don't have to actually get used to jumping across the beams like that. Um, the first time I actually did it, I came and walked all the way over here, <laughs> and then walked and jumped, jumped across the beam, jumped over here, jumped on this beam, walked across, jumped, jumped, and then walked across that way. It was a heck of a lot harder than um, the way I do it now. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's back again up there. It's uh, You can go open that again. And let me show you this one down here. This is the thievery. Okay. So that's free gonna be for like your trickster rogue. You can get that one for free. Uh, so you can run it down and get that one if you wanted to. And then get this again you can just jump up here, jump, that, have it again, bam. All of it. And yeah, uh, sometimes it'll be good. A lot of times it'll just be like materials like that for your um, professions later on. But again, you can just keep farming that, and you can, you actually can get good stuff. You can get like um you know some refining stuff like the peridot and the white um, pearls and stuff like that. Bond though. On the chest over there if you really want to get it i'm not too much about getting this stuff um it's a nature kit um i'm more about just running through it right now i'm really not too worried about these little level things um you can get stuff later so This is the quest you actually have to do before you can do the uh, prayers in town. Um, this is the important quest you have to get to before you before you can go do this. You have to be a level 11 too. I don't know how much farming you would have to do to get to a level 11 um, and just get this quest done. <laughs> because I got to do uh, you know three more quests after I get back to catch up to uh, 11. So again, there's another uh, chest over here if you want to, well not chest, but I think it's, it's the religion one right there. 
Uh, with this one, unless you have someone who can go away, you're just going to get knocked back. So, um, if you have like a trickster road, you can hit it and go. So, okay, we said, all right, Mr. Alternative, I got to run. It was fun watching you have fun with the game. You seem to really enjoy it. Uh, yeah, I do enjoy the game. Thanks for watching, as always. It's fun chatting. Take care. I'm running back to town for this quest in. I'll go hit level 9. Go do nest egg. <clears throat> Should get close to 10. At level 10, you can start your profession. Dwarves graced Rathrun's market stall in broad daylight. The thieves made their escape through a small sewer grate. I'd like you to track the kobolds down and retrieve Grace's stolen jewelry. Now we're going to go and do the nest egg. Time's out.
I was walking that way because there's actually traps there, so. Oh, you need to pick up scrolls in here while you're in here. You need 12 of them. Show you where some are. And there, there's two traps. I know there's traps here because I've played on Trickster Rogues. They see the trap. There's actually one in front of this one too, so you want to stay next to the wall. And in here there's pretty much uh, it's a big square from pillar to pillar out to about here of traps. So you just want to walk straight into the doorways. So you don't really want to go out any way of that. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I want to walk to here, bam, trap. I want to walk here, I'm good. You don't want to get that treasure chest in the middle room or this little guy comes out and these spiders come out here. You can't get the treasure chest. Oh. Now you can get it if you go in there first. Here's one more.
the last one. This is a thievery one right here. Four will be done. The scrolls are done. Now I just need to run to the end. the bosses. The scrolls? Good. I got your money. Huntley's gonna pull through, by the way, isn't he? Okay, so first things first, when you hit your professions, you want to start this. Five seconds for the first one. Seconds. 
Like two minutes, five minutes, 15 minutes. Okay, there's gonna be a big uh over savage you can beat up so See, that was done. <clears throat> Pretty important to get done right when they get done. So I kind of messed up right there.
we go. 1,428 experience left, or 26, so I'll definitely be over it. Captain has two minutes left, so that's about right on track. There we go, there's level 11. Uh, I'm gonna go back to town now. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the chat box below. If you have any suggestions for me, I'm always down to hear suggestions. Um, if you want to check me out on YouTube, it's Alternative Health Gamer, several words. On Twitch, I'm Alternative Health Gamer, all one word. If you want to hit me up on Xbox Live, it's Dr. Joe Scott, all one word.